Hello, welcome back to Camerify Studio tutorial series. Last video we talked about how to create and personalize the scoreboard. If you haven't seen it yet, please refer to the link in the description and check it out. Scoreboard can be used on any platform that supports web overlay. However, if you use it in Camerify Live, you can apply it faster and control it more easily. Today's video will tell you how to link Camerify Studio and Camerify Live and how to control the scoreboard. Let's begin. During the live streaming, the easiest way to use the scoreboard created in Camerify Studio is to broadcast your Camerify Live. This is because if you sign in to both services with the same account, you can easily set the widget you created on the screen. Let me tell you how. For easy and convenient live streaming, it is good to have two devices. One is for streaming through Camerify Live and the other is for controlling the scoreboard through Camerify Studio. Install Camerify Live on the device for video transmission and open it. Sign in or sign up with the same account of Camerify Studio. Select camera from the home screen and select your preferred streaming platform. I'll choose recording because I'm not going to do the live show right now. Once you choose the streaming platform, press the start button to go to the main screen. Tap the widget icon at the bottom left of the main screen. Select the web tab at the bottom. Among many tabs, select Camerify Studio. Tap plus button and you can see the match you created. Select the match you want and tap done on the top right. Now you can select the scoreboard widget you created earlier. Select the scoreboard you are going to use in your broadcast. Touch and hold the overlay and you can edit it. If you want to adjust the size and position, you must turn the widget off. Tap on the button to make the overlay off. Now you can change the size and position of the overlay. Once you have set the desired position and size, click off to turn the overlay on. To do this, please note that you must subscribe to Camerafy Live Premium Service. Please check the link in the video description for Camerafy Live subscription. Once you have finished just setting the scoreboard in Camerafy Live, leave the device with Camerafy Live turned on and open the Camerafy Studio from another device. Sign in with Gmail, tap My on the bottom navigation bar, go to the matches, a threaded icon, and widget. You can also choose a controller design that makes it easier for you to record game scores. Choose the controller you want, tap the controller button, and check whether the widget works well in Camerafy Live. If the scoreboard changes well, you're ready to use the scoreboard in live streaming. Among two designs of controllers, controller number one supports hotkey functions, so you can easily control the scoreboard. Please note that a keyboard is required to use hotkey. If the keyboard is connected, tap hotkey settings to activate it. When you press the controller button, a pop-up message will appear. Click the keyboard button you want to use as a shortcut for the selected controller and press enter to save your settings. Register the necessary hotkeys and click save at the bottom of the screen. Turn use hotkeys toggle on. Please note that if the toggle switch is on, you will not be able to use your keyboard to type text. More details are in the blog manual, so please check the video description. One more thing you have to know is that Camerafy Studio can be connected to encoders other than Camerafy Live. In particular, it can be connected to OBS or Remix, which are often used in live streaming. Remote control is also possible from other encoders. Detailed instructions on how to connect them are also provided in the blog manual, so please don't forget to visit Camerafy blog. Did you follow well? If you use both Camerafy Studio and Camerafy Live for the first time, the process may sound complicated. However, once you connect Camerafy Live and Camerafy Studio, you can easily use the scoreboard whenever you go live. This video is the last video about the scoreboard, and the next video is going to talk about real-time captions. Don't forget to click subscribe and stay tuned for more interesting tutorials. Thank you and see you soon!